Hi, welcome to MECAD Minute. My name is Joshua Karp, and I'm an application engineer at MECAD Systems. Today I'm going to show you an important process of deactivating and reactivating your licenses. Now, why would you ever need to do this? Well, when you first install SOLIDWORKS, you'll have to activate the license. But if you have two computers and you want to switch the license between these two computers or more, you can only have an active license on one computer at a time. But luckily, you can install SOLIDWORKS on as many computers as you want, and you can transfer the license back and forward. This makes it easy so that you can use a home computer or use a work computer. Another option would be if your computer uh, died and you had to get a new one, you'll have to transfer the license from there. Now, how do we do this? Well, we go to our help bar and we scroll down to licenses. Usually on older versions, there might be a different name here, activate, deactivate. It depends on which version you are on. 2020 has licenses, activate, deactivate, and show. When I press show, it'll show me which licenses are currently activated on this computer. If I go back to the help now, I'm going to deactivate this license on this computer so I can move it to my new computer. I press deactivate, and it brings up the activation manager. I can select SolidWorks with a select all. And now I have two options to automatically do it over the internet, which is recommended and will instantaneously do it. But if you do not have an internet connection or that fails, you can manually do it by email. You press this process and press next, it'll highlight the process that you have to follow. Firstly, you save a request file to your desktop. Then you can move this request file via USB or any other method to a device that has internet connection to send an email. You'll send this request file to the activation at solvox.com and they will respond with a response file. You copy the response file back onto the computer you want to activate and you open it via the same method over here. If it is successful, it will let you know and tell you you have successfully activated or it will let you know about any errors that have happened. But if we choose automatically over the internet and we press next, SOLIDWORKS is going to automatically try deactivate your license. Now, if there's any errors that occur or any problems that occur along the road, it will let you know with an error. And then usually if you contact us, we'll be able to help you out. The deactivation was succeeded and all the products are uh, successfully deactivated. I press finish and it closes SOLIDWORKS. Now on my new computer, I want to activate it again. I go to SOLIDWORKS, I double click and start my installed SOLIDWORKS and it starts to verify the license. It's going to ask you to activate. If you have just installed it, you have a 30 day, gr 30 day grace period, but I don't, so I'm going to have to activate it now to use the product. I press next, I select the serial number or the product that is there, and I select over the internet, you can do the same via email and press next. It's gonna go through the process and as I said now, sometimes if it, the deactivation was not successful in the last computer, you'll get an error. Contact us and we'll be able to help you out quickly. I press finish and now SOLIDWORKS is activated again and I can carry on working on my new computer. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you out in the future.